What's up guys, Ben here from Authentech and today we're doing a camera comparison test on the brand new OnePlus 6 versus my old favorite LG V30. Which one is better? Let's go out, hit the scooters, go to the lake and do some photo and video comparisons. 4K 30 on each. Which scoots do we want? Scoot, scoot. First impressions, HDR on the new OnePlus in video mode looks really good. And we're off, both shooting 4K 30. They look nice, semi-high contrast and punch of saturation on both. Of course, no editing has been applied and all settings left in auto. As I noticed right off the bat, the HDR on the OnePlus looks really good and throughout my shots, it was bright sunny out there and we can see how it's doing a nice job with rendering details and colors in high contrast scenes. Another thing to notice, both cameras' primary lenses supposedly feature EIS and optical image stabilization which is good to see since EIS can be pretty weak nowadays. However, I had to give it to the V30 on most of these shots. The OnePlus just looks uber shaky and wobbly still, almost like it wasn't even working correctly. The V30 is far from perfect smooth stabilization, but man, when placed side by side, you can really notice the differences. Not without a problem, I notice on the V30, there's some bad blocky pixelation happening on and off in the video clips. And I actually remember my old Samsung Galaxy having this problem. I have some theories for this issue, but I'm not 100% sure. If you know what's going on, let me know down in the comments. When we tried our first slow motion, the OP6 kicks it into high gear, and I mean it's good. The OnePlus can shoot 480 frames per second at 720p. The V30 is basically half that, 240 FPS at 720. Of course, both are being scaled up to 4K here, which isn't ideal for quality or resolution, but man, double the frame rate, the slow motion on the OnePlus looks good. The OnePlus can also step up in resolution to 1080p and record slow-mo at 240 FPS. The improvement of quality is much nicer. One surprising positive of the V30, it actually records the audio in its slow motion clips, where the OnePlus does not. Kinda weird and lame. I hope they add this in the future. Sometimes the slow-mo audio is half the fun and it can be pretty hilarious. Now both cameras in 4K video look nice, punchy and high saturation if you're into that sort of thing. Though interesting in this shot if we pause and zoom in, just look at the grass blades and the bricks in the house. The V30 actually looks a bit sharper with better clarity found in those tiny details while the OnePlus kinda looks a bit muddy. Macro or close focusing distance is nice on both, good details maintained, and the blurred out background looks good too. The OP6 doesn't have a wide angle, but it has a secondary telephoto lens. It's clarity, LG V30, secondary lens is an ultra wide angle. That's the big question here. Do you want a secondary telephoto lens? Or do you want a secondary wide angle? And that's the biggest struggle for me. In all honesty, I use the V30's wide angle lens almost every day in my YouTube videos for shooting drones, scooters, unboxing clips. I just wish these phone manufacturers would adopt this crazy useful camera feature. I heard in some rumors some phones might be coming out with three camera lenses in the near future. And I've been asking for this for years. Three lenses, one telephoto, one medium, and one ultra wide. It just makes sense. And this is a front facing walking stabilization and video test. Both cameras on highest resolution possible. How does quality look? How's audio? This is audio on the OnePlus 6, and this is audio on the LG V30. Now I'm pretty strongly backlit by the sun. Looks like I'm pretty dark on the V30, but better exposed on the OnePlus. Audio actually sounds good on both. The OnePlus seems to be a bit louder, but V30 has some incredible audiophile features, like a high quality DAC and amp built in. Let's do a jogging stabilization test. Both those front facing cams are max video res 1080p. The V30 looks to have a wider field of view, which I prefer, and its stabilization looks to be much better again. I think 
OnePlus needs to go back to the drawing board on its stabilization. It's pretty important. Now don't get me wrong, OnePlus is killing it with some hot new improved features, like it can finally shoot 4K 60 FPS. This is beautiful to see and honestly a big feature. For one, of course the obvious, we can half speed slow-mo shots still at 4K res. This is buttery smooth. Also beautiful, the bitrate from the 48 megabits per second on the V30 at 4K jumps up to 120 megabits per second on the OnePlus at 4K 60. So image quality, detail, clarity should look much better overall. On these side-by-sides, it often does. Interesting though, in this shot, I zoomed in 250% in Final Cut. We're looking at a bee's nest and butterfly, and I don't know, the V30 still looks awfully close and good in competition to that higher bitrate. Both these lenses are 16 megapixels. Which one are you guys liking more? In this autofocus test, the OnePlus seemed to lock in more accurately and consistently. Though in another shot I captured the other day on the OnePlus, it was really struggling with autofocus, 4K 60. Hopefully this gets fixed soon. Of course, I couldn't forget a quick low light test and in my opinion, the OnePlus looks a bit nicer as well. It's a little less noisy and grainy and man, the dynamic range is incredible. Just look at the LED lights and the green in the GTX. Its color and details are much better maintained versus the blown out highlights on the V30. Here's some photo samples and wow, the OnePlus can produce some really great shots. Nice colors, contrast, and sharp in my opinion. However, wowzers, look at the wide angle on the V30. It gets me every time. It simply looks so cool and unique for a smartphone cam. Since OnePlus has a secondary telephoto lens, it shoots those portrait blurred out background shots and it does a pretty good job. Edge outlining isn't perfect, but if you're taking a lot of portrait shots, this is a big feature for a lot of people. Selfie cam photos look a little too HDR-ish on the V30 while the OnePlus looks nice. Good blurred out background, solid focus, and good sharpness. And this is my big question to you guys. Are you more interested in A, a telephoto zoom portrait lens, or B, an ultra wide angle lens? You know where I stand. I find that wide angle so much more useful in my day to day shots, but I want you guys to vote up here and down in the comments. Now, huge thanks to my buddy Nick for letting me borrow his OnePlus 6, and thank you guys for watching. If you like this sort of content, consider subscribing and ring the bell for more posted every week. And until next time, let's live authentic.